We are here atop the Amon Ra Theater Playhouse, 2507 West Clifton, or is it 2507 Clifton, on the north side of uh, Charlotte here in Nashville, and uh, we're looking at a tent on top of this theater, and it's been raining for days, but the sun's coming out here on Saturday the 26th, and I'm sure many of you are wondering, what the heck? is this tent doing on top of the Amon Ra Theater Playhouse? Well, that's what we're here to find out. And uh, there's the subject of our inquiry. There we are right there. Mr. Jeff Obafemi Carr. How y'all doing? Who is uh, here uh, outside of a tent that he's been living in. Absolutely. And, uh, Let's get a look inside here as best we can. You want some tent life as best we can. Well, here's the, uh, on the back wall of the tent, I have basically the uh, the bedroom. I've divided this into a, a rooftop apartment. This is the bedroom with the uh, landscape window that allows me to see absolutely nothing but trees. Well, at least you have some view. Absolutely. I got a beautiful <laughs> view of nature and the sky, which the bottom <laughs> fell out of. Uh, this here is my study in the middle. Here's the nerve center. Uh, this is where I'm online and I blog and I keep up with everybody here, send them updates and YouTube videos. Uh, the corner over here is my kitchen, uh, which consists of a cooler and uh, that's about it. I so guess hot foods aren't an option too Hot often. foods aren't an option, but they come, they come, at, uh, they come we, in the middle of the day yeah. and in the evening, well, so I keep keep my water in there. My they, water they, they, you mean you like your peeps? Yeah, yeah like them, the meals. The yeah. meals. The meal. uh, Jamaica <laughs> Way Restaurant and Farmer's Market, um, Weta Bradshaw, she sends me uh, all kind of food, great oh. food. She knows I'm a vegetarian. She sends me a plate of food every day that I could eat two meals out of, and they put it in a bucket, and I pull it up. Well, that's very uh, cool. Yeah, you got your cool. sponsors. What's over yeah. here? This, this is, is a, all your... This is, my, this is my supply bin where I lock down everything. I got some electronics in there. I keep my camera in there. I got a little space heater some extra little lights and uh, extra shoes that I need and some clothes and then I've got my books and some of my writing materials for some of the plays and some film stuff that I'm working on and I've got a stand here that I use for both the uh, still and photo camera video camera and also use to hold the light I pull it outside so that I can light up the tent and sit out and talk to people mm -hmm. when they come by and then I bring it inside and I click it on and I use it when I'm in here and and I turn off the electricity when the storms come this week we've had probably three nights man where it mm -hmm. rained and two of those nights uh, I thought the tent was going well off today is September 26th the Saturday how many how long when did you first come up here I came up here on the uh, 21st so this is day six this is the beginning of day six for me and it's uh it, rooftop living is, is very interesting. I got to know a lot about the neighborhood and a lot about myself up here and a lot about the people of Nashville and all around the country, frankly, who've been given to the cause. Well, let's get a let's get a view here of what it looks like from up top here before we talk to Jeff Carr about a little more about exactly why he's on top of here. Here's Clifton Street here. It's a very nice little street and it's an unusual day and that the sun is out and you, you can see Nashville down that way. Yeah. So let's sit down and find out exactly why you're up here, Jeff. Uh, it's an interesting little setup, so yeah. So let's hear it. Um, I'm up here basically to try to get Amon Ra Theater through what has happened to everybody. Um, we're in a recessive environment, and to try to pretend that we're not is uh, is not is not is not sane. So we're not, we're not in a position that a lot of other people might be in or find themselves in. We're not saying, well, if we don't have $30,000, we're going to have to close. Uh, 2009 has been an amazing year for us. We've been able to pull off our first season inside this facility. Uh, we were able to get to a place where we understood what it's like to run a facility, and we were able to understand what it takes to run a facility. And it takes a whole lot to run a facility. Uh, when we started building this thing, we had to pull together all kind of people from all walks of life to make it happen. And then we looked up and we had it. In our plan, we were about two and a half years away from looking at a facility, but it just so happens it came early, so we jumped on it. So now, almost a year into it, we see what it takes. It takes operating expenses in the, in the winter, in the summer, in the fall, what it takes to manage our academy and our outreach programs, what it takes to staff those things, 
And we said, well, what do we want to do for 2010? We want to launch it and go even far beyond. We stepped into the future in 2009 and we want to do something else for the future in the present for 2010. And so we looked at all of the expenses that we would have to manage our outreach program, which is our Youth Performing Arts Academy and everything that it incorporates. And we said we need about $30,000 to blow the socks off the city of Nashville. And how can we do it? Well, we wanted to do it right now. So I said, well, let's just do something big. This year, last time this year, we did something big, turning a building into a theater in mm -hmm. three days. Mm -hmm. And so this year we had to come up with something. And I said, well, I heard about people in the, in the West Coast living on roofs. I'll go up there and do it. And everybody said, that's crazy. But it was crazy to build a building in three days. So let's try that too. So specifically, what's your hey, goal? Hey. What's your fundraising goal? You're trying to raise how much? We raised thirty thousand dollars, and I'm been living up here until we do that. And is that for all across the board expenses That's for the, the for board. this, or any sp one specific program? One one specific program. All of our programs are unique in that um, all of them support our Performing Arts Academy. So for our kids age eight to thirteen, and for our teens age fourteen to eighteen, those are the two categories of our academy. Mm -hmm. Everything that we do supports that. So even our season of plays, our adults get an opportunity to, to be in plays in professional environments where they may not have gotten an opportunity to star in other theaters. And then the proceeds that come in from those shows go to fund our academy. And in this case, with this fundraising drive, we can no longer, we don't have to just do our academy in the summer, we can do our academy year round. So we're going to be a, doing a huge production of Nativity at Lipscomb this year with um, Performing Arts Academy kids performing with the adult ensemble and we're just going to keep it on going from there. They'll be able to come in on Saturdays and eventually as we continue to build they'll be able to come through after school and we'll be running a year-round program for them. I see. So, um, uh, gee, I had a good question there for a second and now it's gone out of my well, head. So, to, I'm, I'm going to do a contribution real quick if you want to catch one of those. Okay. You get one of those. Okay. I was going to ask you about those. Edgerton, what's happening? I'm doing an interview, man. <laughs> I had to go over here to see what you're up to. Mm -hmm. I'm actually on the roof with Martin Brady of the Nashville scene. Hey, Martin. Hey, Martin. Hi. I'm sorry, I've forgotten your name. Leah. Leah. Hi, Leah. It's good to see you again. Leah and John Edgerton, man. How you doing? Good to see you, Jeff. Help, it's on the way, Austin. Man, I believe it. Thank you so much. It is on the way. Thank you so much. I'm turning I you know. over to some higher authority. Hey man, that's that's all I got up here is higher authority. <laughs> Matter of fact, since I'm up here, people in the neighborhood think I'm a higher authority now. So, <laughs> well, that's what I wanted to talk about about yeah. the donations. Like, yeah. so you're able to monitor these online? Are the yes. donations coming uh, in? Donations come in online. Uh, we have a website, uh, firstgiving.com backslash art, and people can click on there and make donations. Now, how's it going? Uh, it's going extremely well. It's going extremely well. We were on the uh, we, we were on channel four or five uh, local media night two Q every uh -huh. day. I do a report. Yeah. And somebody through Facebook contacted Michael Basden, who's just like a nationally syndicated, hundreds of thousands of listeners, a lot of people, urban audience. And his producer called us yesterday and said, you know, we heard you're living on a roof. This, you know, we don't hear about this often. So uh, we want to put you on the air. So I got on the air with Michael Basin and we talked about it. He was so excited about it. He continued the conversation for two more hours on the show. He also is going to have us on on Monday, uh, whether I'm here or not. I'm sorry, I don't know who he is. He's a DJ? No, he's a, well, he's uh, a talk show host talk who show? also does radio. He's um, what's probably this? Michael Basin. What's his channel? Joyner. Do you know? Hmm? Do you know what his not what is it? What are his call letters? What channel is that? Uh, here in Nashville, he's on 92Q. Okay, 92Q in Nashville. Uh -huh. uh, but he's syndicated in at least 70 or 80 other cities in okay. America. He's 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 one of the guys who, when movements take place, they call. Michael so he's Pace. been putting this story out on his syndicated channels. Put it on his syndicated channels, wow. he put us on the front page of uh, one of his websites uh -huh. with the video, a YouTube video that we did. He's going to have us on, and after he did that, there were cars that were just ride by and honk and people were getting out and putting money in the bucket so we collect donations in the bucket when I'm up here and I'm up by, by myself people <laughs> do you lower it by rope here. there lower it by rope just like you sending some up okay good this is how we do it oh,